Hey, what's up pop-up camper family? Welcome back to It's Poppin'. So I wanna go over your pop-up camper's water system basics. Now, not all pop-up campers are created equal as you'll kinda of see going forward in the video, but I wanna go over the basics that are pretty generalizable to all these pop-ups. So if there's any questions you have about how your pop-up camper's water system works, meaning, you know, of course your holding tanks, your sink, your toilet, your shower, anything you might have, hopefully we'll answer this in this video. So let's get to it. system sun somehow so right now we're actually um, camping at a state park and we have uh, no water hookups so we had to bring water on board of course there's a couple ways you can do that first this is called the gravity fill so you could fill up at home via a hose Just stick a hose in here fill up your water holding tanks ours is about a 17 gallon tank you could fill that up truck it to wherever you're going um, or you could go like uh, we did and we filled up at the park here and of course, you could find a portable water connection, once again, stick a hose into it, or kind of like we did, and, and we chose to uh, just use a five gallon uh, portable water jug and tipped it in here and filled it up that way. So there's a few options you can uh, get some water in your water holding tank. Now on the flip side, if you're at a um, state park or campground or what have you with your own private uh, water connection, we're gonna go around to the other side and talk about that next. All right, so welcome to the other side of our pop-up. Now, these might be on different spots depending on your pop-up, but this is the city water connection. So what you'll do, of course, is essentially take off the cap and screw in your hose. Now, we do have a whole video on how to hook up your pop-up camper to your campsite, and that includes how to uh, connect up your city water hose. So definitely check out that video if you want some more specifics on how to hook that up. So welcome inside our 2008 Jayco 12HW. So we have a water pump that is actuated right here. So because we have water in our water holding tank and we're not connected to um, you know, city water, we have to utilize this um, water pump in order to of course pressurize our water system. That way if we go to use our sink here, for example, you can kind of hear that water pump working in the background when I, uh, there it goes again, when I turn on the water, and that of course pushes water through. Same thing on the hot water side, just with the exception of, of course that goes through the water heater, but we'll get into that a little later. Now, if you're connected to the city water connection, that of course will supply its own water pressure and you do not need to use the water pump. So our pop-up camper is a little bit different than a lot and in comparison to even like our Starcraft that we had before in the sense that we have separate uh, drains for both our sink and our shower. Now, as you'll see coming up right here, our sink has its own independent uh, drainage system that goes to the back of our camper. So anytime, of course, when we run water through here, it simply drains out and then out the back. So this right here is our shower toilet combo. Sometimes we like to call it a shoilet, <laughs> but nevertheless, this is a shower right here, kind of a wet bath that of course has hot and cold water. And then we have a Thetford cassette toilet. Now we have a whole separate video on the cassette toilet and everything you need to know about the cassette toilet. So definitely check that out if you want some more information on the cassette toilet, but nevertheless, the shower is of course part of the water uh, system. So once again, we have uh, hot and cold water. And like I said, it's exact same with the sink. If you're running water through your water holding tank, you'll of course need that pump to be on. So for example, if we get the uh, water running right here, once again, that uh, pump's gonna have to turn back on. There might be a little air in the lines, but as you can hear, that had to kick on again. However, if you're on city water and that's flowing in with its own water pressure, you won't need to turn that pump on. But just think of the shower a lot like the sink. It runs off the same hot water, runs off the same cold water, and it's pretty self-explanatory from there. Now, the only difference between the shower and the sink is where it drains out in our pop-up camper. Some pop-ups, they might combine somehow, so you only have a single gray water outlet. Sometimes it might go into a gray water holding tank, but ours, <laughs> it's like a completely separate uh, uh, gray water drain 
uh, system. So we'll show you that. So this right here is new to us. This is just one of those um, oil catchment pans that you can like pick up at Walmart. And we're trying this as opposed to the blue aquatainers that we used to use for our gray water holding tanks because this slides really nice, uh, nicely under our pop-up camper, which is pretty low compared to a lot of ones. So we are uh, giving this a shot and so far so good because it slides really nice and under the uh, gray water outlets here. And it just has a huge collection area. So you can move this anywhere you want and it'll still, uh, it'll still hit the uh, drain points there. So it might be uh, something you guys might want to consider if you have a really low to the ground pop-up like we do. All right guys, so on the flip side, we have the opportunity to check out a different pop-up camper. So I'm here with uh, Blake from Adventures in Pop-Up Campers and they have a Fleetwood Arcadia. Now the difference between our pop-up and your guys' pop-up is that you guys have like an onboard or like self-contained gray water unit and black water unit, right. which is kind of cool. So Blake is gonna kind of tell us about how their uh, water system works with uh, those few differences. Yeah, so right under the john or the toilet, you have a tank and then you have the flush. So here's your meter over here and then you flush it with a pedal like that. And then with the water pump system, it will just go ahead and, you know, refill the water with uh, the toilet with water. So, okay. And then there's, a, of course, piping and then there's a pipe that goes in here and, the, and shoots out to help with the smells. And of course, you want to put chemicals in there to help, uh, you know, control the smells and everything and just keep it pleasant so here's of course where you would hook up your hose to drain uh, and dump and right here is the black water pole it's wider and heavier and then the tank sits up high and then on the left over here is the gray water tank and the gray water tank fills up underneath the black water tank so this will dump and uh, it'll come out fast so uh, and you just of course want to rin rinse your lines out and just give it a nice extra rinse so uh, it stays clean. Yeah, so we have a, a bumper that holds our, our hose in the back here So you just pop it off and it's magnetized and then you just grab it and pull it out I don't want to grab it because it's probably gross and nasty. <laughs> Yeah, unless you have uh, gloves on. <laughs> yeah, no, no gloves on so I'll pass on that But, but yep, yeah, you just put that on make sure it's on good because these do go flying off if they're not on right You hit a bump you'll lose it. So funny story. Um, yeah, my sister uh, brother-in-law they were going down the freeway and their pipe was twisting in the wind. They had lost their cap and uh, almost lost their hose. So luckily somebody flagged them down and told them they had an issue. So they resolved that issue and didn't lose their pipe. It wasn't, their like, poop, pipe. wasn't like poop water <laughs> flinging all over the place, yeah, was no, it? No. <laughs> all right, so thanks again to Blake with uh, Inventors and Pop-Ups for showing us their uh, high wall here. A little different system than a lot of people. You normally really only see these gray and black water integrated takes on the, the higher end high wall. So yeah. it's good to see and you know, maybe some of you guys have uh, that kind of system out there and this might help you. So once again, thanks to Blake with Adventures and Pop-Ups. Definitely check out their channel. I'll throw their, uh, their channel in the uh, description below. So this right here is the exterior shower and just need a handy key to uh, open it up and falls right out. So. This is almost identical, and actually probably is identical in operation to the inside shower. Has both hot and cold water. That was a branch. <laughs> <laughs> and it sticks up right there, so you can wash off your feet or your dogs. Um, there's not much more to say about that, except they're kind of a pain to, to fit back in these little cupboards. Um, but once you get the hang of it, uh, it just tucks right back in there, and you're good to go. So there's one more thing about the outside shower and the inside shower for that matter that I want to mention. So this thing right here, you see that little hole in the plastic there? That's actually meant to weep. So if you see water that looks like it's weeping or, or leaking out of this area, that's actually a design feature and that's meant to happen. So don't worry, this isn't broken if there's some water coming out of here. That's just, uh, that's meant to happen. So here's our water heater, not hot water heater. <laughs> and it's uh, located in our front storage compartment, but you'll find them all over pop-up campers and this runs off of propane So at least in our water system the first thing that will fill up if you're running off city water or even if you're running off the um, Water holding tank with in conjunction with a water pump the first thing that will fill up is the water heater here So this is a six gallon water heater. Like I said, it runs off of propane 
However, we have an entire video devoted to the water heater here, so if you want some more specifics on that, definitely check that out. Now, I know we talked about how to get water into your pop-up camper, and this is how you get water out of your pop-up camper. So let's say you're packing up for the weekend or whatever, you don't wanna haul all that weight away, and you wanna lighten up your pop-up camper a little bit. Two spots on our pop-up camper to let the water out. First thing is for the water holding tank. There's a simple um, valve and all it takes is like a quarter turn or half turn. Really hard to see under here, but um, all you do is open that up and it will drain out your water holding tank. And finally, our pop-up camper has two low point drains that are located in this cabinet right here. And for these, you simply pull up and as you can hear, it's letting out a lot of water. So that'll um, drain out the water that's in some of the water lines upstream and so if you open up those in conjunction with, of course, a water holding tank, if there's water in there, that'll drain out the majority of the pop-up camper. All right, guys, so that's our water system walkthrough, if you will. Let us know if you have any questions about your specific pop-up camper. It always helps if you add in your year, make, and model because, of course, there are definite differences between how different manufacturers put together their water systems. But on the whole, they're pretty generalizable and they're pretty self-explanatory once you get the uh, gist of it. So as always guys, hopefully we see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping. Hey, what's up pop-up camper family? Oh. That was a giant nut. This is a dragon. Mm -hmm. So this is where our shower drains out and it's actually a one and a half inch, uh, just, oh my gosh, it broke. You see that? I guess we'll have to fix that. That's a new video.